Welcome to the delightful world of chicken and egg mysteries, where evolution unfolds like a captivating story, and the debate over whether eggs are vegetarian or non-vegetarian sizzles with intrigue. Picture a tale of ancient amniotes paving the way for egg sellants, a story where the chicken and egg dance through time. And as we unravel the layers of this culinary enigma, prepare for a crackling journey into the fascinating realms of science, philosophy, and perhaps a dash of culinary controversy. Get ready to explore theories that stretch from the dawn of evolution to the sizzling pan, where the question of egg morality tantalizes taste buds and intellect alike. Before entering the video, please do like, comment, and share. Your likes and comments are my encouragement to do new videos. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Ladies and gentlemen, gather around as we embark on a fascinating journey through the origin and history of the humble chicken, a tale intertwined with the evolution of poultry breeding and the surprising contributions of chicken genetics to scientific breakthroughs. Our story begins in the lush landscapes of Southeast Asia, where the red jungle fowl, scientifically known as Gallus gallus, proudly stands as the primary wild ancestor of chickens. Picture the vibrant feathers and proud strut of this bird. However, genetic studies reveal a twist in the tale our red jungle fowl lacks the gene for yellow skin and shanks. Enter the gray jungle fowl from India, bringing its genetic prowess into the mix through hybridization. The intricate dance of genes doesn't stop there. Behold the Indian game bird, also known as Cornish, and the Brahmas of China, showcasing physical evidence of gray jungle fowl influence. The elegant Sumatra breed's tail carriage hints at the genetic contributions of the Sri Lanka jungle fowl. And who could forget the green jungle fowl, with its own unique mark on the modern chicken's genetic makeup? Fast forward 7,000 to 10,000 years ago, and we find ourselves in Southeast Asia and Oceania, witnessing the dawn of chicken domestication. The chicken's rapid distribution was, believe it or not, fueled not only by its culinary benefits, but also by the age-old sport of cockfighting. Now, let's zoom in on a mysterious character, the Oracana. Found in the Oracania region of Chile, it sparks debates among scientists. Was it pre-Columbian or originally from Polynesia? DNA evidence, ever the truth seeker, steps in to challenge theories. As we transition to the 19th century, we encounter Sir John Sabright, the mastermind behind the Seabright Bantam. Charles Darwin, inspired by the works of pigeon and chicken breeders of his time, draws from their expertise to shape his groundbreaking origin of the species. It's a fascinating web of influence, where chicken breeders leave their indelible mark on the world of evolutionary science. The narrative takes a turn to the early 20th century, where the Punnett Square, a tool familiar to biology students worldwide, is born. R. C. Punnett drawing from chicken gene traits, illuminates the path of Mendelian genetics. But our tale wouldn't be complete without a nod to the egg-producing wonders of the chicken world. As breeders selectively choose traits, the American Poultry Association steps in with the first standard of excellence in 1874, heralding the golden age of pure breeding. From heavy breeds like the Brahma to light champions such as the Leghorn, the chicken kingdom evolved. And here's a fun fact. The color of the chicken's earlobes determines the egg's hue white or brown. But hold your clucks. Modern egg production hybrids steal the spotlight, eclipsing their purebred counterparts with over 300 eggs per year and remarkable feed efficiency. Finally, our journey takes us to the marvels of hybrid laying hens. Thanks to the visionary Henry A. Wallace, founder of Pioneer Hybrid Seed Corn Company, and the innovative minds at Decob Seed Corn Company, we witness the birth of the Wisco White and the California White. These hybrid layers, products of international poultry genetics giants, dominate the scene, revolutionizing the poultry industry, exploring the ancient origins of the first eggs, the unsung heroes that revolutionized the way life could flourish on land. Picture a world millions of years ago, where most creatures relied on water for reproduction, laying their eggs in ponds in moist environments to prevent them from drying out. But then, cue the dramatic entrance of the first amniotes, the trailblazers that would change the game of life itself. These pioneering creatures brought forth a new era, evolving a different kind of egg that would set the stage for the diverse avian eggs we recognize today. Enter the amniotic egg, a marvel adorned with not just one, but three extra membranes, the chorion, amnion, 
and Alan Twa. Now, let's not get lost in scientific jargon. Think of these membranes as the ultimate life support system for an embryo, a fortress of development. As our amniote ancestors ventured onto the scene, they carried with them these eggs, a technological marvel of the ancient world. The chorion provided a protective layer, the amnion held vital fluids, and the alentois managed waste and all-in-one package for life to thrive on land. No longer bound by the constraints of aquatic environments, these eggs paved the way for new possibilities in egg-laying locations. And then, of course, the PCDR systems, the tough outer shell. This seemingly simple addition brought a layer of defense, shielding the delicate life within from the harsh outside world. A veritable fortress for the growing embryo. Now, here's where the mystery deepens. As much as we're captivated by this evolutionary breakthrough, the eggy membranes themselves aren't exactly the best at leaving fossils. So, when did this groundbreaking transformation occur? The best estimates place the last common ancestor of tetrapods and amniotes somewhere between 370 to 340 million years ago, though some daring sources hint at a closer date of 312 million years ago. Imagine the world in that distant epoch, a world where mammals, reptiles, and birds were mere inklings of possibility all destined to descend from the legacy of these pioneering amniotes. So, next you marvel at the simple beauty of a chicken egg, or any bird's egg, remember the incredible journey that led us here from pond-dwelling beginnings to the amniotic wonders that unlocked the secrets of land-based reproduction. The first eggs weren't just life vessels, they were the architects of a new chapter in the grand story of life on Earth. Ah. Uh, the age-old riddle that has perplexed minds through the annals of time, did the chicken come first, or was it the egg? The debate has raged on, but fear not, my friends, for science and the secrets of calcium carbonate shall illuminate this enigma. Let's journey into the inner workings of the chicken and its magnificent eggshell. The plot thickens as we discover that eggshells are primarily crafted from calcium carbonate, a mineral feast hens obtain from their diets often munching on the crunchy delights of seafood shells. Imagine backyard hens snacking on oyster or prawn shells, indulging in a calcium-rich banquet fit for eggshell royalty. Now, to form a proper shell, calcium must be deposited in the form of caco crystals, and here's where the chicken's secret weapon emerges the protein ovocledin 17 or OC-17 for short. Hold on to your feathers because OC-17 is a VIP resident found exclusively in the chicken's ovary. This protein, my dear egg enthusiasts, is the key player in the grand spectacle of eggshell formation. Picture this. OC-17, the virtuoso of eggshell engineering, not only facilitates the crystallization of calcium, but also performs an awe-inspiring feat. It quickens the pace of eggshell formation allowing hens to fashion an entire egg within the astonishing time frame of 24 hours. Now, that's a feat worthy of applause in the avian world. But the plot thickens even further. In this dramatic revelation, we find ourselves at the crux of the matter, the chicken, or the egg. According to the scientists immersed in the secrets of OC-17, the protein essential for chicken egg formation, they boldly declare the chicken must have come before the chicken egg. Yet, fear not, for we are not here to sow the seeds of division. This conundrum, my friends, is a bit of a trickster, a false dichotomy in the grand tapestry of evolution. Eggs, in their diverse forms, indeed precede chickens, but the specific marvel of the chicken egg imbued with the magic of OC-17 is a testament to the intricate dance of biology. So, as we ponder the profound, let us appreciate the synergy of calcium, proteins, an evolution that birthed the marvel of the chicken egg. As for the chicken or the egg debate, let's revel in the wisdom that sometimes, in the complex dance of life, questions defy simplistic answers, and the true marvel lies in the journey of discovery itself. Uh, the age-old debate that has left kitchens divided and dining tables in disarray is the egg a symbol of vegetarian purity or a gateway to the realm of non-vegetarian complexity? Fear not, dear culinary philosophers, for we are about to crack open the shell of truth on this egg-centric conundrum. At first glance, it seems straightforward an egg, a product of hens, and a potential future chicken. By the laws of simplicity, it must be non-vegetarian. But hold your spatulas. 
the answer is more nuanced than a fluffy omelet. Brace yourselves, for scientists have stepped forth with a revelation that might just scramble your preconceptions. The egg, it turns out, is a culinary chameleon. It can wear both the vegetarian and non-vegetarian hats with ease. Let's break it down, shall we? On the sunny side of vegetarianism, we have the egg whites pure, unadulterated protein suspended in water. No animal cells, no meaty complications. So, when you whip up a moringa or savor an angel food cake, rest assured, you're on the vegetarian side of the egg spectrum. Now, let's delve into the yolk, a golden realm of controversy. The yolks, containing cholesterol, fat, and protein, are mostly veg, but here's the kicker, they're also mingled with reproductive cells, the essence of potential life. The yolks, my friends, are the clandestine non-vegetarian agents within the egg. But fear not, for the plot thickens even further. Most eggs on our grocery shelves are unfertilized, meaning the chances of them sprouting into life are slimmer than a wafer-thin creep. Hens, equipped with a knack for egg-laying sands mating, bless us with eggs that are essentially vegetarian. However, let us not forget the mysterious minority, the fertilized eggs. Alas, without cracking them open, we remain oblivious to their vegetal or non-vegetal nature. So, after this roller coaster of eggy revelations, the verdict is in. Can we bridge the gap between vegetarians and the ethereal world of eggs? Enter the egatarians, a term so brilliantly coined that it could make even the most seasoned debaters nod in agreement. It's the bridge that spans the vegetarian and non-vegetarian realms, a label for those who embrace both the whites and yolks without plunging into the abyss of chicken-related ethical dilemmas. In conclusion, my egg-loving friends, whether you poach, scramble, or fry, relish your eggs with the knowledge that they are, in fact, both and neither embracing the complexities of life and the culinary arts in a single, versatile shell. If you like the video, like, comment, and share. Don't forget to subscribe my channel.